up. Listen, I'm gonna believe that this is gonna be good. <laughs> Get it? Ugh. Hi, hello, my name is Natalie. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And today we're gonna be taste testing the Bee Leaf Vegan Drumsticks. Now, honestly, I count these as wings. It's a personal opinion, but they call them drumsticks here. This is the kind of stuff I love. I love vegan wings, especially when they have the little bamboo shoot in them. I just think they're so fun to eat. Now, listen. I am on a mission this year to find the best store-bought wings because you know what? I am sick and tired. Sick and tired. Of Instagram teasing me. I feel as though every time I go on Instagram nowadays, I see these beautiful pictures of vegan wings. And then when I check the location, it's at least a five hour plane ride to that location. And you know what? Your girl isn't like Kim K. She can't just get on her private jet and go to California to get these wings whenever she feels like it. No, no, we live a very realistic, non-millionaire, sad, depressing, I'm just kidding, lifestyle that does not allow us to do that. So basically I gotta figure out how to make these myself. So this is going to be the first of many taste tests where I try to find the absolute best store-bought vegan wings. And today we're going to be trying the ones by Belief. So I ordered these online. I haven't seen them in stores yet, but I honestly haven't seen a lot of vegan wings in stores, which makes me sad. But the packaging looks really nice. It looks like their main ingredient is textured soybean protein, which is very normal for vegan wings. Now for this, you keep them frozen. And it says that for preparation, you need to thaw them overnight, which your girl didn't do, surprise, surprise. But you know what, I left it like out of the freezer on the counter for a good four hours. So like, will this work? I don't know. So I am going to open these up and see what they look like. I don't even know how many are in here. So it looks like there's about seven of them. I feel like uncooked vegan wings never look good, but these honestly look not too bad in my opinion. So let's cook these up. So there honestly wasn't clear instructions on how long to cook these unless you use them in the preferred way that they said, which was in a stir fry. So honestly, I just put these on a skillet and cooked them for about five minutes until there was browning on the outside. I decided I wanted to try one on its own because it's unclear if this has any type of seasoning on it or not. So this could already have a flavor, but then I also decided to make one with barbecue sauce. I just kind of put that on there because honestly, when I talk about me wanting vegan wings, it's either barbecue or buffalo, but they honestly look pretty good. The outside looks like it's nice and crispy. It does have kind of like a smoky scent to it, which is nice. They did hold on really well onto the little bamboo shoot that it has in there. I was kind of hoping it would like soften up a little bit more just from when I could feel it on the tongs. It seems like it might be a little bit dense. They do kind of look similar to wings that I've had in the past. So I'm hoping that's a good sign. So I am going to start with the non-flavor version. Hopefully it's not gonna burn my mouth and hopefully I didn't undercook this. But let's just try the plain one. Wow, that's not bad. The texture is very soft and the way it kind of pulls apart is very chicken-like. There is a sweetness to it. So it does seem like it is flavored a little bit. I don't think somebody would want to eat a bunch of these without flavoring. The outside is pretty crispy, which is really nice. It definitely has a chicken-like flavor for sure. Mm, 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 mm. Honestly, I just finished that whole thing. So like, it's pretty good. I'm kind of excited to try this buffalo one because I think I'm going to like it much better with the buffalo sauce on it. So. Mm. That is so good. I'm about to just like finish this on camera because there's no way I'm waiting. I just finished both of these on camera. That is not something I do often. So that's not an indication that these are good. I don't know what is. Now, the only thing I have to say about this is that honestly, I don't think you could ever convince a non-vegan that this is chicken wings or a drumstick as they like to call it. It's too soft to be real chicken, but as a vegan, I love this. 
I love the textures of this. I could eat this all day. I actually really liked that there was an underlining sweetness of this after I added the buffalo sauce because it kind of toned down the spiciness. It has that pull apart texture that you want. It has the crispiness of the outside that you want. And I honestly love the fact that it comes on a bamboo shoe. I think it's so cute. The taste is great. I feel like you could put whatever on this and it would probably work if you want to do barbecue sauce, buffalo sauce, even like maybe a dry rub would probably be really good on these. So honestly, I would probably give these an eight out of 10. I think they're really good. As a vegan, I won't miss real chicken wings with these. I definitely think you guys should try these out. Although this is first of many trials, I think this is a really high note to start on, but I'm super happy with these and I would definitely buy these again. All right, you guys, so that is going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Please like down below if you enjoyed it and comment and let me know which vegan brand of wings I should try next. And subscribe if you haven't yet. I upload every single week, usually on Fridays. I'll see you next time. Bye.